Well, good day, tubes. The Blue Jays are Blue Jay in. There he is. Anyways, how's she going today? Pretty good here. So today we're going to install that new muffler on the 800. Um, try to get it sealed up a little better so you don't hear that pss, 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 as it's running. I mean, most of them do that. I think it's because of the design of that muffler, the way it works. So they should have had, instead of a slip fit like that, more like a flange fit. It would have been a lot better. More like on a car, right? Where it's like the, the two flat plates that go together and you bolt them together instead of having just like the slip over and then crimp like that. You're really noisy, aren't you, bud? Squawking. But anyways, we're going to do that. And uh, hopefully, I'm going to let that uh, silicone, I'm going to silicone those joints a little bit too. And uh, we're going to put the hood on too. So hopefully, all that goes well. I might have to get help to lift that hood on, which maybe Dill will come help me. We'll see. And uh, boy, she'll be, she'll be good. Now, I've got a problem with that three-point hitch lift still. We have a plow day coming up. I'm going to try to go to that. Hopefully, I got a funeral that day, but uh, <sighs> they always book it, book these plow days through the week. These these older guys that are all retired, right? They book them through the week there, and it's like uh, some of us guys, me, don't have to work. <laughs> so you know, it'd be nice if it was even a Saturday or even a Sunday. A lot of them wouldn't want to do it on a Sunday, but um, but anyways, that's okay. We'll try to get to it and see. Uh, if they leave us any field to play with, they may not, but you never know. Um, so we're going to get this together here, and uh, i got to get all new bolts organized for the uh, hood, too. So uh, I've got a whole bunch in here to, to go through, and uh, some of them are shorter, some of them are longer. Um, 3 8 bolts for the actual main underneath where the sidearm things come down. There's, there's 3 8 bolts for that. Um, don't need to be super long, but uh, we'll, we'll figure out something. So, anyways, let's get her open and uh, get the old exhaust off. Ooh, you're really loud now. Get the old exhaust off, and uh, we'll uh, start buttoning up the new one here. All right, well, there's the new muffler. We're going to go and uh, see if it's the same as the other Stanley muffler. Um, <clears throat> see if it's the same length as this one. Ooh. It might be a hair bit too long. They had uh, many different ones and I really don't understand why. It looks good on the, there, but the tubes are maybe, well, no, I think it'll be all right. Okay, so fun, fun, fun. We gotta get this one. Where am I gonna put you? <laughs> we gotta take this one off again. Which means I'm gonna need a 9 16 and I believe a half inch. Get this one off. It's good and solid anyways. Um, one thing about the lift on this, I still gotta put it back together. I was watching uh, Rachel Gingell's video. She's amazing on YouTube there. She's got all kinds of repair videos as well. And um, what we gotta do, I think is, uh, let's go to the other side here. Under the cover of the three point hitch lift thing here, this cover has to come off. These arms got to come with that. Um, we have to get these arms out of here, which I don't know if they'll come out or not. They might be all right. That one, that one. And then we got to unbolt. I'll take the seat off, of course, right where the spring is. We got to unbolt a bunch of bolts on here and uh, get this top plate. This is to come off of here as well. This whole top thing will flip up kind of thing. Under there is um, oh, the lift cylinder and stuff is all under there uh, for this. Um, that needs to come out. And inside there, there's a little 5 16 pin. Uh, I'm need a tiny little bolts anyways. You know them, 5 16 bolt. There's a little pin in there that's about this long. It rides along this cam thing. And it eventually wears down until this happens. So you lose all your bottom you know, adjustment and stuff for your for your lift. So we got to take all that apart. I'm not gonna do that today, though, or probably right now. We uh, we've got uh, other things to do first here, and then uh, that'll be a repair we'll do later. Take that out, smash that pin out, put a new one in. She says they use harder pins, but I don't know if that's such a good idea. I'd rather the pin wear out than that cam. 
we'll look at that when we get in there though so that should get us our heights back because I think what's happening I'm pretty sure that's why that the pin is wore out I think what's happening is I can turn this up to where this would stop in here but if I go further I think it over accentuates that pin and raises it up again and then it goes up where it should that's what we had happen the other day there so um, but anyways that's another job for another day uh, yeah I'll get this exhaust apart here and uh, this new feller back on I'm gonna let her harden up a little bit but I think maybe we can probably put the hood on as it sits in here pretty sure Dylan and I can lift that on here after so uh, let me get some tools again I already put most of them away <laughs> And uh, we'll get this all pulled apart here again at the, the join there, and then a couple of spots here, and then these two here come off, and we should be good. And this is where I'm going to silicone the tube here, and then shove this feller back on, and probably do this one on the tube, and then shove the tube in so it doesn't, you know, muck it up too much in there. Because once that stuff hardens, it's not going to burn it off, I don't think. It's going to be so, so good, good of stuff in there. It doesn't get hot enough to burn that out. So, all right, let's grab some tools. Okay, I am getting exhausted of working on this exhaust, so it'd be nice to get it done, but I mean, it should be fine the way it is, but I do see a bit of pickling, we'll say, under there, so. It was like 14 bucks for the little exhaust. It's quite some thingy here, so I'm like, ah, that's not too bad. Okay, that one's good. Well, loose now. I gotta go underneath here and loosen this other one. I'll get get that and then get this thing off of here. Okay, this is a little bit of a puzzling dissection here to get her actually to come out. out. Okay, that one's off. Um, how'd I do that? I gotta get it off of here and get the pipe loose. Persuading tool. Noisy persuading tool. Yeah, I'm gonna need something. Okay. Ooh, she's really tight now. That's weird. Hmm. There we go. Okay, we're gonna need these clamps back. Because I don't have new clamps. <laughs> Come fight me to the end, aren't you? Fight me to the end. To the death. Get this out and give it a wash too. Well, you stinker. Might have to go get a better screwdriver because I only got this one in my pocket here. Although it should be enough. There we go. I guess it's kind of crimped itself down, right? Oh, he smokes. Who'd have thunk? Fight to the end. 
fight to the death. And this one is really flared out. It's pretty wore out, this one, I think. That flangey part is anyways. There we go. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, the new one. Let's see if everything fits. Inlet goes that way. Yeah, it should be all good. Under here. Oh, it's tight, but it should go in there. Okay, I guess we want it a little bit tight. I'm gonna get some uh, emery paper to clean this up a bit. And this doesn't seem too bad here, but I'm gonna clean this up so it adheres a little better. Okay, well, I'll get gooping some of this on here. I don't know if I'm gonna need a whole lot, because it'll uh, kind of smear on when I shove things together here, right? So, and hopefully I don't have to get this apart again because this is going to make it very, very interesting to try to get apart now. Okay, probably didn't need to do that one, but it's done now. That might be better just to smear around my fingers. No exhaust leaks, especially right under the fuel tank. I think I'll feel a lot better. Yeah, that's got the worst of her, I think. Good enough. Silicone chemicals off my fingers now, off my little screwdriver. I don't lose it, because I'll probably lose it. Okay, so we gotta make sure inlet, which you know, you think you do the arrow the other way, but uh, uh, okay, we need to get clamps on here too. What I do with all them? <laughs> oh, 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 they're here. Let's get the one there. And this one should go up here. Now, this is going to be the fun part. On here, or I can just take the whole thing off. Hang on a sec, I gotta wrestle this on more. Oh, that's good. I gotta wrestle the little tube back on underneath here too. So it goes on the right spot. Now I gotta try to get this pipe back a bit. Okay, let's uh, see if we can get this muffler on a bit more. with another exhaust pipe it's got to go in quite a bit more yet not really like hitting this thing but wrestling match oh it's a lot of work <laughs> 
about as far as I can get her. So. For some reason I'm shorter. I think it's gotta come back up here a bit. Clearance between everything. Looking pretty good there. And some of you are probably saying, geez dude, you put on a new muffler. Why you put new clamps on it? Oh, I didn't get any. <laughs> That's not exactly I wanted that to hang the other way, but that, that'd be alright. Okay, I gotta work on this bottom one. It's not quite lined up where I want it. It's pretty close though, but uh, this thing's shoved in pretty far too. I don't know if I want to go any further in with it. I wonder if my pipe's a bit too short here now or something. <laughs> well, I can adjust the tailpipe, I guess, too. Okay, so I adjusted that tailpipe a little bit. I don't know how much we got in there now. Still got a bit of clearance there, so I could probably go a little more. And this, all this did was hang hang off of this thing like this. It was kind of chintzy, but I guess it worked. Um, make sure our clearances up here are good. Actually, we're perfect up there. Could come a bit more into this pipe. Maybe. If I can get her to swing in. Or not. <laughs> well, we got some in there, anyways. I just kind of held that like that. Drive it the same way, I guess. Pretty solid. And then up here, oh, I wish I got that the other way, but uh, I guess that'll still work. Get that down a little bit more. Cover up all those little slots. Clearance between everything, actually better clearance than I had before. <clears throat> That's good. I gotta change sockets here because this one's a, a 916s. I'm gonna let this set up a couple hours before we start it. That'd be a good idea. I don't really like where that's sitting. Back a little bit more. Just so like the band of the horseshoe hits it and then this side hits it, I think it'll be better. Found it like that. Ooh. That's your natural Loctite at work there. Okay. She's a solid exhaust again, boys. And hopefully leak free. Now I'm gonna let that set up a couple hours until I get some good skin on this wet stuff here. And uh, we should be good. We'll fire it up, pull it out and fire that hood onto her. Well, we're working on a bit of hood prep in here. <clears throat> this is uh, where the big front things come down and bolt in the bottom. And this one's a little bit, goes in and then er. Uh, so I got a thread uh, die tap thingy here. I'm gonna try to get started. Oh, that's not gonna work with the handles on there, is it there, bud? So 
how am I going to manage that one now? <laughs> I'll have to go a little bit at a time, I guess. Because these handles hold the little jaws in. That or I'll use a, a little wrench or something. Just to try to clean them up a little bit. What's in behind here is like a uh, square welded on nut. And they're not too long of a bolt because right in behind here is where the radiator mounts. So this is either going to make it better or ruin it. I'll have to try to sneak another bolt in there and potentially uh, nut it from behind. Ooh, it's cutting a lot of stuff out of there. I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> There's a lot of junk falling out of that. And it's not rusty colored. Seven sixteenths coarse. I'm willing to bet I'll probably have to get stuffed under here after and get a nut on this anyways. If I can get one in there. Nice cool day, but man, for some reason I'm sweating today. It's no breeze, I guess. Okay, I'm soon actually going to be bottoming out on this radiator bolt here. Well, I think we got her anyways. I should have to turn it by hand if it's all good. Good enough, hopefully. Well, that's better. Then we can go right in. Well, let's check the other side here too. Maybe it needs done as well. Now yeah, let's see how it threads in. Uh, it's a bit tight at the end there. I think we'll run it through there too. Maybe I'll just use the wrench here. It works pretty good. I guess there's a lot of vibration on these things and. vibrates a bit and the bolts don't stay tight in there. Could be a bit of rust too. I like rust, it's a great game. stuff. Eh, I think we'll be alright now. Let's try threading her in. Now worry about this in the in the hood. Hopefully there's enough room in there. Perfect. All right. That should be good. All right, we've let that sit a couple hours anyways. Uh, oh yeah, she's pretty springy now, so that's good. I guess we'll fire it up. Oh, gotta turn on the fuel first. Don't get too far without fuel there, bud. Why won't it start now? Oh, I didn't turn the fuel on. That thing's here, might as well use it, right? Ugh. And if you don't use it, then you lose it. Okay. Cold start, no choke. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm, 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 hmm. 
That'll help. Holy smokes. <laughs> That's amazing. Can't say I like that kind of gearbox. there. Okay. Listen for any noises. It sounds pretty nice and tight there now. Feeling any puffing or nothing. Should be all good. All right, before she gets too hot. There was definitely something... Oh, the muffler will be burning off now. The stinky muffler stuff. Might be warm enough now to get the sticker off. Well, she'll burn. Definitely burning though. <laughs> oh yeah, that's pretty warm already. It doesn't take long, holy smokes. Okay, well, we're gonna... Giant man here. We're gonna swingle this thing onto here. And uh, try to get her all back lined up where it should hopefully sit. And these are all those fine thread little bolts. There's one I, we fixed way, way back on the other side. And I didn't realize there were fine threads, or I would have done that again and just made another fine thread. But this one here, I think, was a regular coarse thread, and the rest are all fine. So, should be all good. All right. Maybe we'll just unplug that again, just for now. And, uh, and then I got to get in here. It's tight to get in here to do these ones between uh, here and here. So there, oh, that's interesting. That's got, hmm, I guess I'm gonna have to look at that. There's uh, welded on nuts on the back there. They don't remember that from before, which means I'm gonna be short on bolts again because these ones I got already for down in here. Uh, might have to make another bolt. All right, I run my little 5 16 fine thread taps are there and clean both of these out. There's like a little, like the front we just did there, the little encapsulated nuts. So I guess I'll have to uh, get another 5 16 bolt there and uh, make a couple for there. Because they're like sort of, yeah, but not on the back. I don't understand. That doesn't make sense. But anyways, we're going to throw you on the tripod and I think we're going to try to get this thing somewhere where it should be sitting, hopefully. All right, well, here we go. Hopefully everything fits. Oh, that's my fear is nothing's... It's all, it's all not going to fit now. What? Uh, how do you do this? Right here. got to kind of grab the sides. Let's get her down. Right. Right. We gotta screw the front screws in so it doesn't just kind of fall. Get everything ready though, so it should be good.
think we can wrangle that anyways. Um, well, we're miles off on the front here though for some reason. I think it's got to go up more. Uh, let's have a look see here. Let's see if we can find where this hole is for here. There it is. Okay. Oh, that felt tight. Okay, I think we got the front started. I used the old rubbers they had in there and put new washers and new new bolt. That should do that one. That should do that one. All right, now I got to fight, and I probably won't film all this. Fight getting all these ones on because it's terrible under here. Trying to get all these lined up and screwed on underneath. It's not too bad underneath in these ones, but the rest of it, it sucks. It's just terrible. So I'll get those on and then we'll look at her when she's all done. All right, well, she's mostly on. I'm missing a few bolts we're going to have to make. Or two under here. One there, one there, fine thread. Five sixteen fine thread, and then uh, we're missing. And they're really hard to get to, but missing uh, the ones. Where the heck are we now? We're missing the ones. Uh, huh? Oh, these ones. So I'm gonna have to. Uh, Somehow get into there, get those ones started to pull that tight again. She's going to suck, but that's one that's a fine thread, and then the other one's uh, right just a hole. So, and I think you got to put a couple of quarters down in here. Well, that doesn't look like it lines up at all, so that just kind of holds her up like that, I guess. Yeah, a little bit more work to do. So, I got to make some bolts here. So, we got to uh, some regular 516s. We're just going to cut these threads off and then re-thread fine onto this part and use that. Okay, so we'll hack this off of here. Okay, didn't lose it. It's there. It's good. A little warm. Friction, eh? Frickin' friction. And I should be able to get that started on there. Now, fine threads are really tricky to start. That I find. Let's see what we can do here. And try to keep it square, too, right? Oh, jeez. Leaves are letting go on me. Now I found sometimes if you go back and forth like that, it actually tears the threads. I found sometimes it's better just to uh, kind of keep threading through it. I'm gonna go right to the bottom, I guess. Should probably put some lube onto it too. Uh, what do I got here? Grease. 
device just doesn't want to hold that hold that thing for me. Kind of looks to me, unless my die is off here or something, something's not right. I didn't get her quite level. But hopefully it'll work. You wouldn't think that it wouldn't thread it, right? Like, how could you cross thread a threading tool? <laughs> it's going to cut it somewhere. This sleeve is driving me nuts on this shirt. Now, how far we got? It's a little sticky there. She might have to get redone again. My, uh, I've got a big set of these too, like real big handles. I did some other ones there, and they ended up warping it somehow. I don't know. And no, that one's screwed. Something happened there. I don't know what happened to that one. She started biting in real weird. Ah. The tool looks fine, but that one's that one's no good. It started to, you know, not eating it right. Oh, man. Well, give me a few minutes. I'll get a couple of these made. It's going to take a couple of trials and errors, but we'll get them. Okay, of course, when I'm not filming, I do the next two perfect. <laughs> well, that's a good one, and that was a good one. And that was the one that, I don't know what happened there, but she's junk now. So we got two good ones. We'll go fire these in. And uh, we're getting there, getting close. Okay, hopefully these two tighten up all right. We got them started. The ones we just made. Oh, I don't know if I can get in here. That's got her mostly tight, and then I just give her a little bit more. Ah, good. Sweet, we made our own bolts. Bolts are awesome. Well, holy smokes, I'll tell you what. If you want to torture someone, make them put a hood on this thing. God, that's terrible. Getting your hands up and underneath and trying to get things on, and oh, jeez. Oh, it's just brutal. That's terrible, and you got... Your hands squishing against not really sharp things, but hard things. Oh, anyways, it's on. Oh, I'm glad that's over with. Now, this looked kind of close here to me, but maybe it's all right. Because this axle will pivot a bit, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. So, well, now i got to hook up the lights. We've got uh, the one here, and then this one here. It's probably not going to be long enough now. That should probably run, I don't know where it's supposed to go, but it'll have to go somewhere. And then over here, for this side, is this side. And it's got to go somewhere. That's not going to get in trouble with stuff. It'd actually be good to run it right through there, but if that ever uh, rubbed, vibrated, and come through, I don't know if it's long enough anyways, but that would hide it nice in there, but it should be in some kind of some kind of stuff. Well, there it is. And those could go there, but this one I think is gonna be too short because of the way I've got it routed here. Pull that out maybe. Hmm. Might make her for now. I'll have to get uh, something on there to Tie them on, I guess, see if... Well, I should solder them, really, but should really run new wire, I guess. Okay, I just stuck on one of these things for now. I'll probably rewire those, I would think. Maybe get some heavier, uh, heavier wire to those. I don't know if that's going to sit there, but let's give her a test and see if they work now. We got a little bolt for that. That's our light switch. And, oh, we got lights! We got two lights. I don't know if you can see them, they're not very bright, but there's a bit of warmth there, so they're working. That's good. Sweet, we got lights. That's not the best switch, but it seems to work. 
There we go. Now we just need to give her a good pressure washing. Now that I got all my electronics all on there and ready to go, let's give her a wash. Should be able to take a little bit, not maybe right at the, you know, all the stuff, but uh, we'll have to give her a wash. It won't be today though. Look at this little turd already thinking. Hmm. Get out of there, really? Beat it. Scram. Get lost. Screw off. <laughs> Look at where they built in over here. Should bring up some spray. I needed a pin off this top link off a cultivator the other day for when we were plowing here. And, uh, man, I'm turning this thing down and the little turds are even inside of there. And they got a little base right in there. Look, you little turds. Go away, will ya? Go away, you bother me. Anyways, there's the 2N. Sweet. Fires up just like that too. Super awesome. Good to go. And of course the 8N is all finished. Well, there's a couple things we got to do bearings yet on the fronts and check them and clean and check and uh, pull that top plate off. See what's going on with the hydraulics. But boy, that looks pretty good. She, uh, she needs the rims done though. I don't like those rims. The rear ones are really bad shape too. So maybe I'll see if I can score a set of them somewhere. The tires on it aren't too bad. The fronts should be done probably. They're getting low. They'll be all right for now. But uh, yeah, these bearings, I think you've seen this before, they uh, need to have some assessment. Could be partially why the reason why it wanders a bit. But anyways, she is good. Let's uh, fire it up. Lovely. Wow, just, just ticking like a top, eh? Well, not ticking. <laughs> that sounds really good, actually. It's running really nice. But uh, yeah, we'll have to look at this thing because I believe this pin that follows the cam in there is... If I go further back, it'll go up higher, which means that flat spot, and I'll show you a picture, it's turned a little extra. So, yeah, that sounds pretty good. I'm happy. Should change the hydraulic fluid too when I got all the bolts out or all the plugs out. I want to reseal all them because I know it's wet under there anyways. Sweet. Well, that sounds pretty nice. I think she's ready for plowing. And this is all in good. Everything's tight. Not sounding too bad running good took a fertile ride and then it started acting weird <laughs> uh, see something, something's not right something's not right oh, oh my goodness well we're gonna see if everybody's getting spark okay here this thing should start jumping here Let's fire it up here again Very good spark. Hmm. It was running good and then just started doing that. I don't know why. It's like something's missing. Maybe I gotta do those points again. Sparking a bit, not sparking a bit, sparking a bit, not sparking a bit. Oh, great, more to figure out what's going on. It ran perfect the other day when we were plowing. I don't know why all of a sudden now it's acting up. not right somewhere well I don't have time to look at her today I want to make sure they're all sparking at least one's off it could be screwing everything up let's see if we get spark on this one Go 
on with that, that uh, condenser again in there. It's not sparking all the time. Something's not right. <sighs> well, I've got another two sets here to put in, so if we have to, we have to, I guess. Right now, I ain't got time today. So, there we go. Well, who's gonna tell me? Oh, dude, geez, why don't you just upgrade that to electronic ignition? Well, I might have to. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Something, something, it's, it's firing, but it's not firing right. So, I don't know what the deal is there. It's almost like it was out of time. But, I don't know. We'll uh, just maybe have a quick look under here. See if we see anything obvious. Look all burnt in there, so that's good. moved on me or something uh, I don't know I'm not gonna worry about it today I ain't got time now so um, you might get an electronic ignition upgrade though maybe I don't know I'll look into it see how much they are maybe do that and then get rid of all these points and condensers and all the worry but anyways that's it for today she did run does look pretty good with the hood on and uh, yeah we're good to go for that anyways but uh anyways we'll catch you all later thanks again for watching and you guys have a good day one thing after another eh? oh boy almost sounded like the fuel is off but it's on <laughs> <laughs>